Hello everyone. Welcome to Tinker YouTube channel. I hope you like what you see. Today we are going to make an infotainment screen for my seat Leon from 2004. Stay tuned to say how we made it and how you can do it yourself. Here you can see we will work in SOLIDWORKS. I designed a 3D model based on this sketch. This sketch adapts the curvature of my car's board. Using this as a reference I then made a cut extrude from this part to get the final form. After getting the final form of the holder we made a slot for the tablet on the top of the part. Using the dimensions of the display as a reference, I used once again the cut extrude tool to reveal the display of the tablet. I also added an angle on this cut so it looks better. Then I added some fillet so there will be no hard edges. This will also make the part look cleaner and overall nicer. As you can see on the right, I added a slot for the charging port so you can charge your tablet while driving. I then used the cut extrude tool to make the part look nicer. As you can see, I split the part in two pieces so I can print it on my 3D printer. I also rotated and raised the parts 3mm from the build plate so I can use support material underneath. Then I printed everything in one go with PET material using the nozzle temperature at 215 degrees and bed at 40 degrees. One eternity later. After the parts were finished I took them off the build plate. The support material falls off easy but I recommend using pliers. If it does not come off easy, you can also try to pry them apart using a small screwdriver. Cleaning them with a sanding block is ideal, but you can easily clean them just with the sandpaper itself. If you want the sanding block 3D model just comment down below. Because the printed parts did not align perfectly, I cut the alignment pins off. The tablet that we will use is a Nexus 7 from 2012. It has 3G and all the features needed for a great infotainment system. It runs a custom Android 7 version. Also, if you want to know more about the software, 
comment down below. To glue the parts together I use two component epoxy and fast drying super glue. Also masking tape could come in handy for holding the parts firmly together. To get rid of all the imperfections, I used fine filler and applied it with my finger and a blade. This thing sands off very easy and makes the surface look smooth. After sanding the holder with several sanding papers I used primer to make sure everything is smooth. Two coats of primer with wet sanding in between are more than enough for our project. Then I will paint the part with matte black paint to match my car's interior colors. In order to get a nice finish you have to spray light coats and wait around 10 to 15 minutes before applying another one. This is how it turned out after three coats of paint. The 3D printed texture briefly shows up after all the sanding. Here it is with the tablet in its place. This system will provide everything you need in your car, from phone calls, messages, music to navigation or even YouTube. It you can either use it as a tablet or use an app called Automate that will emulate the Android Auto system. I am always using this app and everyone who got in my car asked me about how I got the Android Auto to work.
Here it is running in my car. I use this system for more than one month and all I can tell is that it's great. It offers me the possibility to have navigation, music, messages without reaching out for my phone while driving. Stay safe, don't use your phone while driving. Use this DIY infotainment screen instead. If you have any questions about this project, regarding materials, software or even tools, don't hesitate to comment down below. I will read and answer any question. Also, don't forget to check the video description to find the download links for the 3D model. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I will soon make more DIY projects that I'm sure you will like. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.